Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Alliance Alive. I'm your game master, Darius. Last we left off, um, two of the parties that we were playing were about to crash into one another, and now we've been whisked away to another party. Okay, Jean, let's head back to Zvalna. Yeah, let's walk. No need, 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 no need to rush on our way back. After all, there's things we need to prepare before our return. What? It makes waste after all. Sometimes it's better to take a step back and slow down. Oh, come on. <laughs> and yeah, uh, this is the two people that had helped uh, Party 1 escape from Batter. So, there's that. Ooh. Is that a shiny? Shiny off in the distance? Please give me shiny. Uh. I'm wondering... Uh, now I'm just wondering what other things might have happened while... Because yes, we went and, you know, beat up a bunch of big overworld monsters, but I'm wondering whether or not we can actually beat them up again? That'd be neat. Anyways, let's punch things. Assuming that she's gonna let it. Okay. Never mind. Him getting more SP would be a good thing, anyways, because, you know. Got that whole. Uh. Word thing stuff. Come on. Dang it. I was trying to time it. Trying and failing. There we go. So apparently the trick is to get caught by the monster, not the devil. Also, I'm wondering why the hell I'd do this, yeah. Because this thing might be able to kick my ass. Unless. Light shot sizzle. Uh, let's see. Break shot will hit all of them, however the chance accuracy is low. Let's try it. Oh, but the accuracy is low. Good damage. Ah, real-time analysis. Let's do it. Weak to lightning. I mean, that makes sense. It's a water devil. Uh, you know what's a, a scathing, painful thing, though? None of the things I do currently are lightning, are they? Determine the amount of moment the uh, enemy strikes and counterattack while their guard is down. Do I still take damage from that? Because you're kind of in a, um, I'm a gonna die sort of fashion. Oh no, not the break. Uh, it's not a beast. Oh, I can't. Yeah, alright. Okay. Alright, that didn't go as planned. I love how it's low accuracy, but it's, uh, okay. You know... You know, I'll just reload. <laughs> just... Just reloading seems like a better idea. Uh, let's take time walking back. There was that order. I know that I can use the order gems, but it seems like it'd be a pointless endeavor when I'm quite literally just the two of these characters. Not to mention I kicked the bucket literally. Yeah, the only thing I picked up was the order gem anyway, so. Anywho. Uh, punch. Shoot. Punch. Punch for that 15 damage. Hey, a rain sound. I'm wondering whether or not I should even worry about these two for the time being. Like, I... I, I get what they're doing. 
they're taking all the parties and soon pushing them together at the same time. I'd really just like all the party members to converge already. Looks like there's commotion coming from the tavern. There could already be trouble. I'm oh, sorry. Yay, commotions. Boo, commotions. Beast folk are getting are gathering for a raid. Don't get any closer, you lot. Eh? Aren't you ones who visit Lord Batter? What happened? Ha ha ha! We found a resistance out. out. Hey, keep walking. You feel the resistance, monkey. Lord Batter accomplished a great deed while you two were poking around aimlessly. It sounds like a few rats escaped, but we'll eventually get them all. Ha <laughs> Hmm, I see. That does make sense. Hey, wannabe Damon, you knew this would happen, didn't you? Not for certain, but I did suspect such a development. Why, you little... Come on, we're going. And where, where precisely are we going, Rachel? It doesn't look like there's an escape route, so they probably got away through an underground waterway. In a town this size, there should be another entrance somewhere. And, your sole job on this mission is to be my bodyguard. Who cares about that? Ah, mercenary with a heart of gold. I see, I see. Well, it's a good thing we remember that there was an exit on this side? Or was it further away from town? Thought it was further away from town. I'm not sure why I'm bothering having him try to punch. That 15 damage was pretty pathetic. <laughs> What's on this side of town? Nope. Alright. Yeah. No clue. Maybe just ask around the place then. That kid who loves demons went to see the fight at the pub. Wonder if he's okay. Hope he didn't get involved. All I did. Idiot. The heavy taxes on humans. Yep. All that bit. Hey, are there bad people? That fellow never seemed like a bad guy to me. Did you hear? Turns out the pub owner is a, actually a horrible criminal. The world's a scary place. <sighs> I guess that's in relevancy. So it's you, Oink. I'm on guard duty. Come back later, Oink. Alright. And the secret of the sky. You haven't misbehaved while I was gone, have you? How long has it been raining? Beast Forks, Galil Azura. Because I know where the exit is, in relative sense. That seems pretty suspicious. Let's pick inside. You just picked it randomly, didn't you? Hello? Anyone home? Who are you? you can't just barge into my home. Sounds like a beast folk raided the pub. I see. I knew that had to be, be what it was happening. I heard that some resistance members are still on the run. We want to go help them before the beast will catch them. Help them? You're saying that you're one of those night ravens? Yeah, we're rookies. We just joined recently. I see. They're having a tough time of it. Wait, Rachel. Don't just make up weird... You be quiet. So, mister, you wouldn't happen to know where the underground sewers are, would you? I think they might have gotten out that way. Take a look behind that bookshelf. I've been keeping it hidden so the beast folk wouldn't find it. Nice, thanks for the ju juicy tip. Now let's get in there and save them. For the love of... 
I mean, as much as I'm, I feel for Gil a little bit here, or Gil, Gene a little bit here. Yeah, nah. Anyone could guess that there's a secret passage behind the bookshelf, right? There. Secret passage discovered. I think this leads underground. Here we go. Rachel, what about your job? Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Come on now. Hurry up. Yeah, we might be able to catch up to them from here. No map. Monsters, though. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> uh, that's good. Rachel, I'm telling you. Quiet, they're here. Found them. Hurry and notify Lord Batter. Damn it, we let them get away. Forget about them. But... Come on, now's your chance. Hurry up and run already. If you're just gonna stand there, you're gonna get caught. Who's that? Forget it, just hurry. Rachel, why are you doing this? We don't have any reason to help these people. Maybe you don't, but I do. I never thought you'd be this cold-hearted. Are you seriously working for the demons? I've been telling you, it's complicated and it. Whatever, let's roll. Wait, what? Oh, so much for that cold exterior. Uh, you know what? Burden. Oh, okay. It's it's just these guys. Um, I just warned you had one that was. Ouchie. Slam your staff to the ground, breaking it to release the seventh biblical plague, a torrent of hail. Good lord, is is that just the thing it does? That's not even a goddamn dumb. That's not even a goddamn ignition ability. That's just, I released the seventh plague. Davis. Hey, Feyhound main. I've gotten that before. You know what? I probably should have definitely um, equipped this party a little bit just a just smidgen. Cause they ain't got nothing. Oh well. Heh heh, looks like coming this way was the right choice. You dumb resistance apes. So it comes down to this. Two soldiers from earlier were easing up, but if we deal with this many, we'll surely be found out. You are seriously so... I want to save them if at all possible, but perhaps we should switch tactics? Rachel, hold on. I can't just sit back and do nothing. Sorry, but that's the most I can do for you. Hang in there, you guys. You even understand the delicate situation I'm in. Relax, we'll be fine. No one caught us. That's what you say, but... Look, if it's if I say it's fine, then it'll be fine. Come on, let's head back. Let's head back through the monster-infested sewers. Should be fine. Oh, that skeleton's gonna be back, isn't it? Yep. Hey, Gene, do you think those kids will were able to get away? I wonder. 
Well, whatever fate has in store for them, I'm sure they'll manage. As for us, we've got work to do. Hey, just what are you up to, anyway? Come on, let's get going. Yeah. As stoic as Jean is. Definitely feel for Rachel more in this situation. I don't know, maybe because they're not working with tyrants. So what next? That depends on what move Lord Batter makes. For now, let's visit the peaceful garrison. Hey, are you the ones who attacked Wyatt? Stop it, Max. Huh? Who said that? Sounds like it came from the pub. Oh boy. They're gonna be a violence. What's that now? Don't tell me you're gonna challenge us. What do you mean that humans are disposable tools? Eh? I mean what I said. Humans are a bunch of tools for us beast wolf to use and toss out. That's what it means. That's why you went after Wyatt and his friends, isn't it? Well, well, you buddies with them? Ain't that a shame. They've all been captured and taken to the cage drill. Once they get there, they'll expire after being used as, as Lord Batter's entertainment. How dare you talk about humans that way? Did I just tell you that- Didn't I just tell you that you're nothing but disposable tools? Humans are our playthings, toys, trinkets, get it? Lots of laughing. Damn monsters, I'll never forgive them. Ignore them, Max. They're just trying to provoke you. Uppity, ain't ya? Looks like you need some punishment. Can't have you cause in trouble for Lord Belder, can we? We'll take good care of ya. Squee hee hee. Whoa, things are looking bad. Let's stop this. Hold on. Securing an audience with Lord Batter is our top priority. If we make a scene now, we'll certainly suffer for it later. Are you certain that you're alright with that? Yes. I'm putting a stop to this. That's enough, all of you. For the love of... Eh? More friends than yours? It doesn't matter, we'll wipe them all out. Hmm. Might have a situation here. Or do we? What was it? Break shot? Break shot. Oh, forgot it was a lot faster. Okay, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Thanks for intervening. It would have been finished if it weren't for you. It's totally fine. I'm glad you're alright. Seriously, thanks. You too, Glasses. Please direct your thanks to Rachel. I merely happen to be passing by. I apologize, but we have an appointment to keep. Still, we owe you a debt. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Hey! Wow, thank you! Well, I like to say that's worth it. Hey! Aren't you the ones who killed my little brother? Boss says we gotta follow the law when punishing humans, but I can't stand for this. Sorry, but you're dying here. Whoa, he's the brother of that Beast Wolf soldier we fought earlier. That's why I warned you not to get dragged into the trouble. We make too much of a scene here. Let's take this to the outskirts of town. At this rate, we'll have to fight. Rachel, please get ready. I mean, in fairness, your brother deserved it. Just, you know, full stop, deserved it. Faux Knight! I want your sword. Why will you never drop your sword? Alright, uh... There? That freaking Wandering Cloud does so much damage. What was this one? Additional damage to B-Seals? I mean, it's still 24 freaking power, so... You know, I hate that the Wandering Cloud reminds me of, well, I'm just going to swing my arms and move in this direction. And if you manage to get hit, that's your problem. Anyone? Alright. <laughs> hey, HP increase and a lot of money. Ugh. Do you see now? Conflict only breeds more conflict. We must break that negative cycle eventually, even if it ends up being painful. 
I mean, we killed them, so... I was just gonna continue on our business, but no, they were like, Hey, you killed my brother, prepare to die. That's their problem. Not my fault that they saw, they didn't see that their brother was a freaking idiot. Oh, it's you, I hear the Baskin Lord Batter's glorious victory. Indeed. Pfft. Got a feeling if it was, uh, up to Rachel, she'd just burn this entire place down. I'm not stuck enough, I'm on break. I've seen your face makes me lose my appetite. Get sick more, you prick! Hey, where are there apes in here? Lord Banner's office, always busy. Yep. Come now, we already know that you're in the resistance. We'll need an escape route like that if everything you were doing was perfectly legal now, would you? You really didn't have any evidence when you arrested us, did you? Hehehe, <laughs> say whatever you want. Soon you'll all be dead. We'll capture the ones that got away soon enough. Yeah. Hey, prepare the executions. We'll put their heads on pikes in the middle of town. Wait. I believe it may be prudent to delay that course of action, Lord Batter. Eh? Who said that? Oh, you lot. What does the traitorous dog want with me? I'm the one who captured them. I get to decide their fates. Indeed, but consider this. If you exact extract data from them and round them up all at once, your deeds will even be more noteworthy. Eh? What are you? The truth is, Lord Batter, I would stand to gain some recognition from it as well. Yeah, so that's how it is. You're truly the very image of a traitor, Doug. Alright, accept your suggestion. Hey, take them to the Bastille. They might escape if we stay there. Prepare the portal. Hmm. Do you enjoy being a demon's pawn? Thank you. Looks like we'll be able to survive a little longer. There's no telling how long, though. We'll follow Lord Batter as well. We might be able to learn something. Hey, wannabe demon, I don't understand you sometimes. Really? I believe myself to be a quite simple man. Alright, let's start off with these two underlings. I'm looking forward to hearing you scream in despair. Just so you know, this really isn't my thing, but shouldn't we be picking a safe word first? I love that man. Just a brainless thug. Shut your mouth and move it. Hey you, watch this guy. Hey Gene, can we at least help this guy while he's we've got the chance? Rachel, we just can't. I appreciate it, but it's probably impossible to escape, even if we could get out of this room. Indeed, besides my situation, it's considerably different compared to either of yours. You sure? Looks like we're in the same boat to me. Regrettably, I'm not a member of the Resistance. All I am is a man who's trying to better his position by currying favors with the demons. Hmm, <clears throat> even so. Can't help but feel we're toward, walking toward the same kind of future. Yes, please. That was a lot of shit that just went down. A very confusing man in the matter of Jean. Ugh, what just happened? Uh, hamburger? What? Hey, you guys are okay there? Who are you? 
Hey, kid. You all right? Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you two are okay. Demons, what the hell do you want with us? Ruffian, you dare threaten Lady Vivian? Hold on a minute, Ignis. I'm not letting you near Azura. Huh? What's going on? Do not fret, Lady Vivian. Now please stay back. You demons, this time I'll... Silence! Listen, brat, this air-headed demon and her servant aren't your enemies. Doggy, you calm down too. Doggy? Brat? Aren't you like... 12? I'm Tiggy, Professor Tiggy Alstein. The demon spacing out over there is Vivian. And that tense guy next to her is Ignis. Hmm, to put it simply, they're weirdos. Hey, did you just call my mistress a... Am I wrong? E? So, I'm Galil. And she's Azura. Hey! Hey, Galil! This is the ship we've been looking for that can cross the dark current, right? Hmm? Are you familiar with this vessel? Long story short, that mirrored cross led you here, and that's how you met us. What does that mean? Does it have anything to do with why the ship suddenly moved? More importantly, the caged realm is of concern. Yeah, my dad, Barbarossa, and Renzo are there. From what I've heard, their treatment by the Beast Folk is a tad extreme to be considered mere peacekeeping. We thought we could get to the caged realm if we had a flying ship like in the painting. That's how we ended up here. Never imagined that the Ark would come hurtling toward us. And it doesn't even fly. Hmm? Ship detected at ground. Engaging autopilot. Eh? What was that voice? The ship is moving. The ship is now on a stable course, disengaging autopilot. I see, so that's how it works. Did you learn anything? Yeah, somehow the ship has the ability to sense its conditions. I have no idea how. What do you mean, sense its conditions? Basically, it could tell that we were beached earlier, so it moved on its own accord. You heard that weird voice, right? I think it was some kind of signal. I see, so that's what autopilot means. I feel like I've heard that voice somewhere before. Yeah, and if the autopilot is off, that means we can control the arc. Bad idea. I have a terrible feeling about this. Yeah, we don't know what else could happen. Oh, come on, doesn't it fascinate you? Maybe we can take this ship across the dark current whenever we want. Oh, ho, ho. it's three versus two, then the girls win. Sorry, Team Downers. Let's start sailing right away, then. We should look for a way into the caged realm. Galil, Azura, Vivian, Ignis, and Tiggy joined the party. Good lord. Ah, there's a lot of dudes. Some of them not even fully kitted out like the rest of them. Because I hadn't decided, oh yes, I'm just going to casually grind a bunch of hell beasts and insects. Actually, I could grind. Oh wait, <gasps> they did! They did stack! It all stacked! 25 Chaosium Orbs, gems, whatever. It worked. I say it worked like that was something, you know, it, I'm happy it worked. It did the thing that I was hoping it did. Moonbeam. Interesting name for an attack. Ooping. God, now we gotta remember all the things that I was doing with the party. Uh, 
<clears throat> okay, so. Galil was the axe dude. I really wanted to change out his worn out armor. Oh, apparently we ha still have some work gloves left over. We had her who was spear and staff, but I was mostly focusing with the staff because all the spells and wacky wacky. These two had spears. Though I'm starting to wonder whether or not I should use spear with her. Seeing as her thing allows her to just casually summon a sword. So I'm wondering if I should do that. And with you, you're pretty deep in the spear league game anyways. And Tiggy, well, you're Tiggy. You're, you're stuck in that thing. <laughs> okay, but uh, real talk though. If there's a way to get back to the... The ship has deviated from a stable course, engaging autopilot until bearings are restored. Oh, we can't do that. Huh? We can't? Oh dear, not again. Did I not say this would end poorly? The ship's moving on its own again. Everyone alive? I'm dizzy. Whew. Not again. Why does this keep happening to us? Well, I guess that works. We totally did it on accident, but we got into the cage realm. Wyatt, Barbosa, uh, Barbarossa and Rinzo? Yeah. <laughs> I will make it all right. I offer my humble skills to aid your quest. Wait a minute, madame. We're traveling incognito. What, what will you do if we're discovered? I think it will be okay. Probably. Look. It's all Stein. My name's Tiggy, but you can also call me Professor. Tiggs. Watch it, kid. This is our problem. We're happy that you want to help, but it's dangerous. Don't you find it suffocating? Suffocating? Dark current. All these prisons. I hate being cooped up like this. Science is the study of turning limits into freedom. At least, that's what my science is. Turning limits into freedom. Besides, I want to test my power suit. Alright, kid. Off we go. What is this place? The atmosphere here is really weird. I'm getting chills. Seriously, it's like we're in a whole different world. Oh. Well, might as well see what we're going to be facing in this whole different world. Look at that lineup. Oh god. What am I fighting? A lizardman, a bonefish, and a wild peg. You could have called it like axe beak or something, just saying. Winged, aquatic, undead flying. Okay. Hey, guess what we don't have? Many beasts to use the beast, uh, beasties, knocky shit. I'm gonna, f yeah, I'm gonna focus her more on, um, using the thing. The thing, yes. Oh, maybe I can get a junk axe. Oh, I should have bought a junk axe while I was in the other place. It's not better than my current axe, but it's definitely going to be good to have a spare axe just in case. Good. Oh boy, things are going to be rough from here on out now, aren't they? Ooh, chestnuts, though. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, call an episode here. When we return, welcome to the Caged Realm. It's about time that two of the part, or two of the parties got all together-like, though. 
I really need to beef up Galil and Azura though. Because they're human, all the other two and are demons. The other one's riding a mech. Just saying. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.